Hey, there will this side. In this video, we begin the real rising by first transforming our title bar, which is this small decoration on top of our clients or applications. To start editing the configuration, copy the default config to your config directory using this command. Now, open this file in your favorite editor and navigate to the line 531 of this file. This is where your title bar is defined. To remove the title bar altogether, just remove this entire function call from client.connectSignal to the end. Many window managers do not come with title bars, but I need them so I'll continue to edit them instead. As you can see, the title bar is defined in three parts. See how the code corresponds to all the three parts. Now delete all of this code and your code should look like this. Let us visualize the code for our title bar. First, we want the outermost widget to be a container of type background to give a color and rounded borders to our title bar. Second, we want the margins to separate inner widgets from boundaries. Third, we want the three widgets inside of a layout. Now let's write the code. This is what our code looks like. Now add a title bar. The awful dot title bar returns as an empty widget with some colors. We give it a size and remove the colors to give it a custom look. Save and run this code and you'll find a transparent gap above your clients if you're running a compositor. Now add widgets to this empty title bar. Add a background for color and shape. Now add margins and a layout. Last add three widgets, the icon widget, the title widget and the window buttons. The entire function that we modified will look something like this. Save the code and restart Awesome Window Manager to see your new title bar take over the scene. As you might have noticed, the styling is still missing from the title bar. So copy the default theme configuration of Awesome Window Manager to our config directory using this command. First remove the borders by changing border width to 0 dpi. This is done so that our rounded corners do not get covered by the borders. Next create a new variable to store our style directory location. Now add these lines to change the look of our window buttons. Use GIMP to create three new buttons. Name them accordingly so that they can be picked up by our RC file. Last, edit our RC.lua to use the new theme location instead by using by changing the line number 48. Reload awesome. Start a compositor of your choice and your title bar will be shining in all its beauty at the top of all your applications. In our next videos, we'll similarly change the other components of our desktop interface. Thanks for watching. See you next time.